How about we call it Antiosaurus? <sighs> Ignore him, Agnes. Can I touch it? Why not? I have. Antiosaurus is a great name for a dinosaur, huh? Strong, powerful. Agnes, you're the one who found a whole new dinosaur species. You deserve to call it whatever you want. I can't help thinking you have a suggestion. Mm, Willosaurus has a certain ring. Uh, bats? No one mentioned bats. Relax. Bats only attack the smallest person. Oh, wait. That would be you. Hmm. Huh? Oh! 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 Will! Dad! Ann, stop right there. Come back from the edge. It could collapse again. Uh, but the... come back from the edge now, Ant. <laughs> Dad! My family are explorers. We have been for generations. While others look up to the stars, we know there are an infinite number of things that shine in the darkness below. There are things lurking in the seas that long ago vanished into myth. My family are explorers, and we explore the deep. Mom? What are we gonna do? Come on, Will. I think I see something. <laughs> Dad! <gasps> I should have warned you when you arrived. Unstable ground. The stream ends at this sinkhole, and the sinkhole keeps getting bigger. At really inconvenient times. So, the water flows down through a cave system and emerges somewhere out there near the Aranax. I'm hoping the rest of the fossils are down in the caves. With your underwater exploration experience and all your cool gear, I thought, perfect. All except we're very good. Maybe not perfect. My brother has modesty issues. But now I'm not so sure. It might be too dangerous. One way to find out. <laughs> By playing golf? These are pingers. They're 3D sonar mappers. They'll float through the caves on the current, map them, emerge into the sea, and return to the Aranax. See? Told ya. You've got cool gear. Perfect. Plenty of room to get around in the first two caves. But see here where it vents into the sea? That's a very small opening. It's even too small for a night. Okay. We'll swim in from the top. Look, right there. Are those fossils? Maybe just debris. But we'll find out for sure when we dive. Yeah. The last pinger, Jeffrey. And back where it belongs in my brand new totally amphibious night. I call it the Swamp Night. Huh? Eh? Your lack of enthusiasm is noted. All right, you're hungry. Have you ever known me not to carry fish food? And here, a new high-tech super neoprene utility wetsuit. <laughs> Look, it's not that I don't appreciate it, but I kind of like my... You've outgrown that one, and confidentially, <laughs> it smells. Change. Mom, please! I'm not a child. I'm almost legally considered an adult in Zanjakistan. You made up that country, didn't you? I... <sighs> Changing right now. <clears throat> New suit. Itchy. <sighs> Get used to it. The old one's in the recycling bin. Aww. What's the light source? Not sure. Let's check it out. Wow! Thousands of glowworms. Now there's something you don't see every day. The glow is their way of saying to predators, don't eat me, I'm poisonous. No predators here! Not even Fontaine! Hmm. They're reacting to that bat sonar sound. But... Bats can't get down here, can they? 
you. I am not falling for the same thing twice. Well, not after all those other times. Ant, turn around. Oh. Agnes is going to love this. So based on these bones, this species would have been 12 meters long? At least! Excellent! I look forward to dating it on our mass spectrometer. It's on its way, Professor. Fantastic! Done. I'll wait on board for his reply. I'll head back to shore to collect the rest of the fossils. Yeah! Arrived at the dig site. We shouldn't be too long. Over and out. Okay, let's gather some more bones. Is that your old suit? Shh, it's not an old suit. It's an old friend. It just feels right. We got history together. Gah, it smells like fish food. No need to insult it. My old friend and I are gonna see if any bones have washed into the next cave. Keiko? <laughs> oh, you really had me going there. What are you talking about? I was actually excited, and then I ran the test. Hilarious! Those fossils, they're not old at all. What do you mean they're not old? Igneous rock down here? Uh, basalt? Agnes, your fossils aren't ancient. 50 years maximum. How disappointing. The high mineral content in the water must have prematurely petrified the bones. Huh? <laughs> hmm, that's not basalt. Agnes, if these fossils aren't ancient, then those things could still be alive. But it's way too big to be an. Uh, huh? Huh? Ah! to nectins. Aranax to any nectin. Come in. Come on. Ah! Okay, I'll just be very still. And you can just stay. Ah! Sorry, that's a little bright for you, isn't it? Ah! Close enough. Ah! Ah! Oh, come on! Okay, now part of growing up is learning what's food and what's not food. And I am not food, okay? Wait, you? You think I'm your mother. We won't tell Jeffrey. Welcome to the Swamp Night, your new, totally amphibious night. Unlike other nights, the Swamp Night can walk on land. It's perfect for boggy marshes, cave exploring. That's exactly why I'm choosing it. I don't need explanations, artificial ant. But I will be asking the real you to explain this. Wow, this place is truly amazing. You realize no one, and I mean no one, has ever seen this. Other explorers? Nope. Cavemen? <laughs> Doubtful. Uh, now I'm going this way, and you should go... Wait a minute. Is that why you're following me? You can smell fish food? Uh, hang on. I always have some somewhere. Yeah, yeah, hang on. Ah, here. 
<laughs> it's not much, but it's high in amino acids and vitamins. Whoa! Healthy appetite. Sorry, little guy. I'm out. <laughs> Whoa! The Swamp Knight has extra thick armor, extra storage compartments, and extra strength. Extra strength is just what I'll need. Damn! This thing is too powerful. It's complete overkill. Oh. Of course, this extra strength should be taken into account in everyday operation. Oh. We wouldn't want any accidents. Oh. We're going the wrong way! There you are. <laughs> What? I've got news. And? He's a baby. I've got no idea why he's following me. Except maybe, possibly, because I fed him. And that's a very big baby. Which means those aren't fossils. Let's not make any sudden moves. Huh? It's okay, little guy. Friends. I guess I just naturally attract, <laughs> like a magnet. Hey, I told you that's not food. It just smells like it. And if that's a baby, it's got a very big mother somewhere. This is not a safe environment. Right, I can return it. You'll note that the thrusters are more powerful than any previous night. What? Oh, come on, artificial ant. Go down, down. And it may take some getting used to, but the steering is now controlled by head movement alone. Oh. Move your head left to turn left. Right to turn right. Oh, that's infuriating. Whoa. Whoa. And up and down. So simple, a child could do it. Oh, is that so? Oh, wait till I get my hands on you. Okay, I'm just bringing you back home. Remember this? I don't have any more food. I wish I did. Come on, Snappy. Let go. It's my favorite wetsuit. And behind you. Is it Bats? I wish it was. Back away, slowly. No, Snappy. You stay here. We have to leave now. Snappy, forget about me. Look, brothers and sisters. Go, play with them. What was that? It's the mother. Dad! Move, over there! Where is it? food. I need my mask. We don't have any choice. Let's go now. <laughs> you think we lost it? Apparently not. The caves must be connected. There. <laughs> Do that! I'm busy being terrified here! Go home, Snappy! Your mother is calling you. You should listen to your mother. I always do. Huh. Okay, not always. This thing is the perfect predator. Unchanged for a million years. Not perfect. It's been locked up in the dark. So what? Its sense of smell is probably overcompensated. And you smell like fish food! Stay close to me. Ant! 
Are you okay? Uh, my wetsuit is snagged on something. Take my hand. I hate to say it, but my suit might have to stay behind. Necton family, this is Keiko. Respond, please. This suit really is strong. Ugh. Ugh. Nice undies. Thanks. Are those little Jeffreys? I'm not even going to answer that. Yes, they are. And where's your mask? Oh, no. Okay, two of us will share. Out of this cave, straight to the surface. Um, mine's gone too. We can't all make it on one. This way. Follow me. Keiko, can you hear me? Respond, over. Will, copy. The fossils aren't from an extinct species. They're alive in here. I know. You're all okay? Uh, for the moment. But something big is stalking us. Okay, listen. If these things grow as big as Agnes suggests, there's no way they can get out to the sea. They live their lives in perpetual gloom. Of course! They're sensitive to light. The flashlight should keep them at bay. Mine's gone. Do I look like I'm carrying one? We don't have that option. Understood. Maybe you can stimulate the glowworms into defending themselves, remember? Right. <sighs> but the noise will attract the mother, too. It's the best idea we've had so far. It's no good. They're not afraid of us. We need bats. No one needs bats. <laughs> now it's hurt Snappy. <laughs> Please be there. Can't freeze you. Dangerous. Stay away. Will, you're breaking up. Will! Loud noise isn't enough to activate the glowworms. So keep something between that thing and us. Where'd it go? Oh no. <laughs> Your mom's here. Go to her. Ask her about her day. Hey, over here! Yeah, I'm talking to you! Kiko, run! No, look at me! One mother to another. Understand this. No one messes with my family. That's it! Mom! Activate the pingers! The high frequency should trigger the glowworms! Come on! This must be blinding! No! Dad, it's okay! Extra armor! And this suit is incredible! And don't forget! Extra strength. Oh. 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 Mom! Look out! No! Hey! No! It's okay, Dad. I got this. your baby, don't you? You've got to watch him. Sometimes he follows his instincts without thinking it through. Snappy. Aunt, you're blue. <laughs> it's cold down there. Where's your wetsuit? <laughs> uh, I made an error in judgment. 
I was wearing my old suit. Uh-huh. He got me into trouble. I'm sorry. I finally let it go. Good. Very mature. Put this on. Ha! I can see months of paperwork ahead documenting this. It's fantastic! Discovering a living dinosaur is way better than a dead one. <laughs> How did Aunt find that baby croc? I think it found him. Aunt does have this way of attracting things. <laughs> Thank you, Senator. You won't regret this. So, the local government will set up a rainforest sanctuary? They will. They don't want cave explorers getting eaten any more than we do. The forest and the caves will be out of bounds. Good. Scary creatures deserve protection, too. Even bats. Right, Ant? Ant? Eyes as big as basketballs. Teeth like, like long, razor-sharp swords. I'm painting a verbal picture here, Jeffrey. Try to look interested. <laughs> He's a fish. And best of all, it's called Antiosaurus. No, it's not. Agnes will come around. It's a poetic name. Strong, powerful. So, have you told Jeffrey you've got a new pet? 